Okay, we're now going to have a little look at how we attach our rear card slot panel to our paper money slot panel. Now I'm doing, I'm changing wallets as I'm doing the videos, so you'll have to forgive me. I know I started off with glittery stuff and now I've gone to purple stuff. Um, the construction is exactly the same. It doesn't matter what colour your faux leather is. Um, and it also doesn't matter at this point whether you're doing the braidy or the no braider. Um, the no braider will have slightly shaped sides to these panels. Um, the construction is exactly the same regardless of the um, of the shape of the panels. So I have my money slot and I have my rear card slot. Uh, both have been prepped so they've got their lines of top stitching and what have you. So my first thing to do is to mark a line on the uh, rear money slot, on the uh, paper money slot, that is three eighths of an inch from the bottom. And I'm using my chalk marker because I can rub that off. Um, so you can see that that's marked along the bottom. I'm going to take my rear card slot and I'm going to position it so that the bottom of the rear card slot is literally right the way along on that sitting on that line. I'm making sure that the sides are perfectly matched and that's important. And clipping that in place, make sure it's going nowhere. And then I'm going to stitch along this bottom edge at one eighth of an inch seam allowance. Um, I'm going to start three eighths of an inch in from the side and I'm going to finish three eighths of an inch from this side. So I'm going to turn this around the right way. I'm going to start just in from this side and I'm going to finish three eighths of an inch in from this side. That looks like it's not quite on the line, so I'm just going to move it slightly. That's better. It's very, very important with this that you keep everything, and I don't measure the three eighths, sorry. And at this point, um, because this isn't going to be a stress point, I'm actually not going to bury my threads. I'm going to just do one back stitch. You can bury your thread if you feel you want to. So I'm just doing one back stitch. This won't be visible in the finished wallet anyway, so. I'm literally coming along the bottom of my rear card slot, attaching these two pieces together. And I'm stitching at one eighth of an inch seam allowance, so one eighth of an inch away from the bottom edge of those rear card slots. Let's just move that clip so that it's not in the way as I come towards the end here. stitch just to secure my stitching. Oh, I don't appear to have my scissors here. Never mind this little pen will do. You can get rid of any any nasty tidy bits you've got. And there we go, that's that joined together. So I'll come back to you um, and we'll look at um, creating our exterior panel. Now that we've got those bits together so we're just going to pop those out of the way keep them nice and safe i can take those bits off but first before we do that we're going to do the upright i forgot about that bit <laughs> so two and a half inches in from one side we are going to turn your ruler over christine we're going to make a mark and that will be You'll see it's it's effectively it's centrally on this straight edge and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side two and a half inches in from the side and i'm just going to make a mark that's about approximately an inch from the top e top edge of that um 
of those card slots. So you can see there, you've got the line, oh, sorry, you've got the line coming down from the top edge there. There's the top edge, line coming down, and that's centrally, so that's two and a half inches from the side. And then I've just marked about an inch down. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start from the bottom, working up. So from that inch mark, I'm going to top stitch, going through all the layers, and I'm just going to do one back stitch at the beginning. You've only got two layers here, so your domestic machine should easily manage this. And I'm just going to long threads at the end because I want to tie off my threads at the top. I don't want to back stitch at the top. I'm going to do exactly the same. So you can see there we've got, I can trim off those bottom threads because I don't need those. And the top ones here, I'm just going to bury those the same as we have been. And if you find that your faux leather has stretched at all, sometimes it does. Um, I have a tiny I don't know if you can see that's a tight, it's not even a millimetre, I don't think, it's not an eighth of an inch. A tiny little bit over there, just at the bottom. So I'm going to just, I'm literally going to trim that off. That's just where the faux leather is stretched as I've stitched it. And this is nice, stable faux leather. So, um, you know, some faux leather will stitch regardless of how well you stitch it or how practised you are at sewing with faux leather. So let's get rid of those end bits. we're just going to tie off the same as we have been previously um, if you're doing a um, a no braider you you shouldn't have anything overlapping at the sides um, now what you will find when you do if you're doing a no braider is that when you match up these side pieces um this top corner here of the front card slots will overlap the the shaped part on the side of the money slot by about an eighth of an inch so there'll be a tiny little overlap there where you've actually got the two layers the rest will just be a single layer and that's to reduce the layers in the finished wallet if you're going to stitch around the outside now if you've got that little bit extra that, at the side there you can trim that off you can either use a um a pair of scissors or a craft uh, or a rotary cutter it is just a fraction that i've got that's just stretched out of shape so i'm just literally taking that off um you can remove your chalk marks and now you can pop that bit out of the way because you don't need that bit now just for the next bit next we're going to look at our pocket i'm just going to trim off those extra bits of um, thread at the back and you won't actually notice any of these because they'll be inside the pocket so it's not like a big drama that they're they're there and just gluing them down keeps them from going anywhere so you can pop that bit out of the way because that bit's completed now and i'll come back to you shortly and show you the pocket <laughs> 